WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 204. NASDAQ is down 58. S&P is a flat. Gold. Gold contract down $6.60, trading at $17.91 an ounce. We have silver down 17 cents, $20.23 an ounce. Late sweet crude down $3.29, $86.12 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note. Down 10 ticks, trading 119.12. The 30 year off nine at 141.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar is uh, down 48 ticks, trading 106.498. The Euro is at 101. The Yen is at trading at uh, 133. And the British Pound is at uh, 120 to 1 US dollar. Now, if we get over and take a look at this, uh, you know, this market looks flat, but the bottom line right now, folks, this market wants to sell off. Um, we just had, you know, the NQs just came down 159 points in a heartbeat. Um, that being said, uh, the way that it did it, let me show you something here. Because when you, two different things end up happening here. The market stretched a bit. It stretched more. See, so it was down. It stretched more. It spiked. And when the, the baby spiked up to this uh, 13,740, it didn't have juice. And then it gave it up. That when that normally happens this is where you could really get a pullback i mean so we'll see where this shakes out what we have right now the last get go down has volume and this just may be doing an abc structure on the way down because the last 10 minute bar didn't have any juice whatsoever and if that's it you'll see us break the lows of the day and more than likely break the low of yesterday also so this is going to be an intriguing uh 60 uh, 60 minutes here uh, dollar. Let's go into the dollar because the dollar, the bottom line, the dollar is still in the higher range. It was uh, it was up more today and it gave it up. Thank God. Okay. Bottom line is that we're still over that. Uh, oh no! Look at we just came underneath it. Interesting. Okay. So it got to the benchmark. The benchmark was 106.792. It is at 106.486. So that's somewhat relief. That being said, uh, bottom line, uh, we'll see how this shakes out. It just might build cars going sideways more. Um, not a, that's, that's, that set up there is basically saying that the market could be bullish. The NQs and the SPY, the way that that traded, first blasted up, had no volume on top, and then gave it up and went. Most times, markets like that are going to go south, and they're going to go south very, very quickly. And that's what I expect we're going to see from here right until 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.